the second session of Sharing Our Faith. We are witnesses. Witnesses somehow proclaim what God is doing in and through their collective response and their individual response to God's action. There is a reminder as I draw on the inspiration of the early church, Acts chapter 1, that we had to start somewhere. And in many ways, we are simply a product of those who have gone ahead of us and shared the story. Certain generations have done it better than others. There have been troubled times in the life and history of the church, and yet a chain is only as strong as its weakest link, and each generation holds before it both the challenge and the promise of what it means to be a people who tell the story and somehow invite others into an awareness of God's gracious love, God's remarkable mercy, God's compassionate judgment upon the ways in which in many ways, we fall short of what it means to be truly human and truly alive. And yet we are witnesses, witnesses, signposts to this remarkable action, this remarkable activity, this remarkable story. We are people who are caught up in the sweep of it. We don't make it happen. I've mentioned that already, but we witness to it. And so I propose a threefold movement. We gather for worship, yes, because our worship is in many ways an act of witness. I remember one person telling us that, in fact, worshipping was our so-called lunch break and the most important thing was out serving and changing the world. But I beg to differ. Worshipping is indeed the very heartbeat of our witness. We worship and in our worshiping, we proclaim who God is. We sense our need of God. Yes, we delight in the remarkable gift of who God is and we worship, adore and lose ourselves in wonder. We also welcome one of the sadnesses, obviously, of Christian communities down throughout the ages is that they have differed and varied in their capacity and their willingness and all other sorts of things to actually welcome people into the family and community of God. But uh, there are a variety of reasons for that. And yet we hope and pray that each and every community can offer a welcome and that we can be part of that welcome. And then we witness. We witness because indeed we are welcomed. And from a place of being secure in God's love, we witness to that love. And so we are not those who Go out of our way to judge others. Of course, we make judgments. People do that. People make judgments about what is right and what is wrong, what is truthful and what is lesser. And so we are just like every other human community, communities that seek to offer judgments and insights. But we are not critical and trying our best to uh, dissuade people. We are in many ways those who seek to persuade people and we persuade people more often than not, not by what we say, but what by what we do. We don't have to be the defending eternity as one apologist said quite rightly, the gospel is well capable of taking care of itself. When you think of the humble beginnings of Acts chapter one, you are astounded that now there are literally hundreds of millions of people who worship right across the world and own the name of Christ. It is a remarkable story. And yet, in many ways, we know that the church cannot contain God. God breaks out and does surprising things in a variety of ways. And so we don't necessarily have to have all the answers. Witnessing can be as simple as saying, come and meet someone who told me who I am and told me all about myself. Come and meet Jesus Christ. And so we are people filled with joy. We are open to Jesus, we are yielding to Jesus, we're saying yes to Jesus, and we are people who are witnessing. In other words, we are people who tell the story. To tell the story means we are rooted in thanksgiving. We are thankful people. We are grateful for what God has and continues to do in our lives. We explain it as best as we can. We say, listen, this is what happened. We read scripture, we pray, we find ways of telling the story. We lead others into a deeper appreciation, not of who we are, but of where they might find life. And we live it out day by day and moment by moment. We become those who witness to this remarkable story, God's love story at work in the world. We share our faith. We are witnesses. My hope and prayer is that we find ways 
to witness in this coming year. Amen.